All right, hello Pisces. I hope you're having a nice morning or afternoon, evening, whenever you watch this. Um, I was really drawn to this um, as I was kind of tuning into your energy. Escape from the museum. So I don't know, maybe you're going to a museum, you're, you work in a museum, you're watching a documentary about museums, I don't know. Um, could be something that I'm particularly drawn as well. I kind of got it out. Um, it's just a board game. It's just like a, a thing that I bought my daughter for Christmas uh, because she couldn't go to an escape room because of lockdown, because of COVID. She was a bit disappointed. She really likes escape rooms. Maybe you go into an escape room. I don't know. Um, so yeah, it was uh, her birthday was kind of put on hold and... We, yeah, actually we've got this little like game to do in the house. It's it's not the same thing really. But I was drawn to these kind of stamps. Um, just sorry, bumping the camera there. Um, these kind of like old fashioned vintage st stamps. So it could be something about like vintage planes, perhaps. Like if I put them the right way up, it's funny that they're upside down. I think it's a plane, but it's upside down. <laughs> What's that about? Um, could be something to do, like it says US postage on it. But I'm getting Italy um, quite heavily, actually. I was, <laughs> the song that played for you as I started tuning into your energy was uh, Salvatore by Lana Del Rey. Um, that, oh, probably shouldn't sing it. Um, yeah, Salvatore. Um, <laughs> she mentioned soft ice cream in it quite repeatedly, which kept on making me want to go and get ice cream. So I did. <laughs> so just, that's my leftovers of my ice cream. <laughs> my mini, mini, they're like little fake magnums. Um, yeah, so Pisces, you made me eat ice cream. I blame you for that, <laughs> for my uh, bad diet. It's all Pisces' fault. But yeah, ice cream could be a thing. Maybe you're eating an ice cream as you listen to this. Maybe you, you I don't know, do something with ice cream. I was getting Cornetto as well, which is just a thing for me because um, I've been re-watching the Cornetto trilogy, Hot Fuzz and things like that. So it could be something to do with ice creams, Cornettos, but again, Italy, Cornetto is an Italian ice cream. Uh, Salvatore, I thought it was Spanish, but I looked it up. It's an Italian word, Latin. Uh, it means saviour. And she also says uh, cacciatore in that, which means hunter. It's like a stew. You can get like a hunter's stew. But cacciatore, Salvador, Salvatore. So it's like saviour or hunter. I'm getting this energy of like, is this person my saviour or is this person gonna murder me <laughs> like, like escape room uh, it draws me back to a dream I had last night which was quite a scary dream where it was like I'd been drugged um and I was kind of I was trying to like you know when you it was basically one of those dreams you know where you wake up and like you're in that half awake half still dreaming state and you can't move because you're in the REM like um basically like your body disables your your ability to move when you're in deep sleep so that you don't get out of bed and sleepwalk and hurt yourself. So sleepwalking is actually like a malfunction of that where your body doesn't get kind of like, you know, you still, you can still walk around and things. It doesn't get to like, that ability doesn't get turned off. So as you're in that halfway stage of like half being asleep and half being awake, uh, you can have these kind of nightmares where you can't move and, but you're kind of hallucinating as well. So I had one of those horrible dreams where I was trying to like bang and make noise. Um, so yeah, I was, and I was trying to escape from something. So I don't know if there's something to that. Um, it could be, um, I did have something like this a while back for, for Aquarius, uh, where I was getting like, uh, murdery stuff. <laughs> and one of the things that was coming through was, um, if you've ever watched the film Scary Movie, which is like a, a comedy version of, of Scream, um, she's going, uh, so you want to play Psycho Killer? Like, she's like playing along, uh, you know, she thinks it's a game. And uh, I was getting that through and it turned out that an Aquarius friend, because it was an, an Aquarius reading, and an Aquarius friend was just doing a murder mystery. So I was like relieved <laughs> that they weren't a psychopath. Um, and uh, yeah, so it could just be something like that. Like I'm, it's coming through to me as being like, um, dying by the hand of a foreign man, <laughs> which is a, a, a lyric from that Lana Del Rey song. But it could just be that you're doing an escape room or you're, um, <laughs> I don't know, watching watching Catch Me If I Can. Yeah, I wrote down Catch Me If You Can, which is like a Leonardo DiCaprio, Leonardo DiCaprio movie where he, uh, you know, pretends to be a pilot, although he's not really. So there could be something about like masquerading. I'm just getting the word masquerading, like uh, dressing up, pretending to be something you're not, having a dinner party where you do like a murder mystery thing, something like that perhaps could be going on for you. Solutions seems to be pop popping out at me. And also here it says, um, Key to your freedom, key to your freedom. It's easier said than done. 
which could be something for somebody there. So don't take it literally. Uh, take it... I, it looks, I don't know how it applies. I don't know how it applies. But again, that Salvatore song, it's got this real, like, vintage glamour vibe of, like... Um, you know, I was kind of getting it through for Aquarius as well with this sort of Judy Garland, like, um, old movie star thing. But it's kind of gone a bit further back now where we've gone into more, like, maybe, like, the 40s, kind of, like, the you know, the early Hollywood of, of I don't know, even, like, 50s of, like, Audrey Hepburn uh, and these kind of things. So there could be something to do with you and Aquarius about, like, screen sirens. Um, you know, those big kind of uh, big names of the of old movies, Audrey Hepburn, Marilyn Monroe. Um, who did they get? Um, Eli did they get Eliza Minnelli? Is she a singer? Who did Aquarius get? Eliza Minnelli. Yeah, she's a singer, isn't she? She's not even in, she's not even an actress. Um, I couldn't think who she was. They were giving me her name and I didn't know who she was. I was like, I know I've heard of her. <laughs> so they, I don't know, there could be something going on like that for you. Um, could be something to do with shoes. <laughs> when I was Googling Salvatore, it was like there was this shoe designer. Um, or feet, the time of feet. Uh, memories. Catch me if you can. Mm, I don't know. Right, let's get into it. So what energies are affecting Pisces as reading? Neptune. So have a look at your Neptune placement. It could be Capricorn. Um, there could be something going on with Capricorn or Neptune at the moment in your chart. You know, we have 12 houses and the planets move around those. So could be something going on, some kind of aspect going on in your chart. So uh, Capricorn is kind of, um, it's a very stable energy. It's an earth sign energy. It's uh, the very skilled Capricorn tend to be very skilled. They tend to know the stuff. Uh, they tend to be quite into detail and facts and doing things by the the rule book. Again, depends on the full placement, right? We have a whole chart. There's a whole thing going on. Um, but yeah, like generally, like like Capricorn energy on its own, it tends to be kind of like a bit of a a bit of a by the book type of character. Um, you know, if they put work into something, they expect to to see the results of that. So there could be something to do with that kind of energy. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who's a Capricorn around you. Um, it's, sorry, they're actually showing me. I think they're showing me the constellation. Oh. I don't know, because I don't know, I'm not the best at like astrology, astronomy. Um, you know, I can't look up at the sky and tell you which star is which. I'll point out Venus and say, that's the North Star. You know, I'm that type of person. But they're showing me like, um, I wish I had something that I could, excuse me a second. <laughs> Sorry, that was just, it was my son. He was coming to tell me about school. Um, so maybe it's something to do with school. I don't know, Capricorn again. Um yeah, they're showing me the, I think it's the constellation, you know, when you do like join the dots, maybe somebody's doing like a join the dots, maybe it's like puzzles, maybe you're going on holiday, or you're going to like a, a camper van or a, a caravan or something, and you're like, we need to take puzzles with us, otherwise the kids are going to get bored, we need to take some join the dot, you know, the kind of like puzzle books you can buy when you're going on holiday, it could be something like that, but they're showing me, uh, sorry, I'll get, I'll get to the point eventually, they're showing me like, um, it's like the outline. It's like a the goat head with the with the curled horns, right? And then like the goat, the top of the goat's body, and then it's almost like a a seahorse or a, a, a mermaid's tail. And I only just thought about that now, but like I keep on getting like the the star, like the the seahorse tail kind of thing. So yeah, it's like almost like a mermaid's tail with a goat's the top half of a goat. Is that the is that the actual like? constellation capricorn i kind of want to google it now but then i have to stop me reading um and i don't think i have anything with that image on okay so i wonder what that is interesting and neptune then again neptune it's like yeah it's really interesting what is that so i'm seeing like so i'm seeing a bit of like a, a thing here and there you are look so Sagittarius, Libra, Virgo, Pisces could also I mean Pisces it's your reading Taurus I'm seeing there too um because Neptune is, I'm sorry, it's so scruffy. It's just, it's, I'm actually working on my own deck. Um, I've, I've been making the images for, uh, to make my own card deck. I just want like the planets and the aspects and things um, to find out what's at play in your reading. So just ignore how scruffy they are. Um, I, I'm really not focused. 
Neptune is uh, the god of the ocean. It's Poseidon from Greek mythology, or Neptune is Roman mythology. Again, Rome is coming through, like Italy. Um, so he's the god of the ocean, the god of horses. We're getting the horse stuff back. I had this last week, like the ocean and the horses. And it came through as part of like the, the uh, strawberry moon, which was in Capricorn. So I feel like that could be affecting you. Like that's still at play for you. I know um, being a, a Pisces friend, we've really been feeling the full moon lately. So uh, yeah, that Capricorn full moon sent me on a wobbler. Um, so it could just be that that's playing out for you still a little bit with like emotional energy, water energy. Huh. I'm not sure. I'm sure it's something to somebody, right? Um, yeah, they're, they're showing me the constellation. I think it's a constellation. I really just want to look it up. Uh, the only reverse is saying you're not knowledgeable enough. You need to do more research. Um, okay. Pisces. We're doing Saturday's reading. Saturday's reading for Pisces energy. Um, what energy is Pisces currently in, please? Tell me about Pisces' current situation. Okay, making it clear which way. Golden egg in reverse with the panther there on the bottom. So this is like not feeling like you've got enough money for something, I feel. Like the golden egg in the upright is brilliant. It's like a nest egg. It's like a almost like that ace of pentacles where it's it's a golden opportunity. Um, it, it talks about finances or like um, wealth, abundance, uh, building up a nest egg. In the reverse, it could be like you don't have enough money to do something. Um, or a missed opportunity, perhaps, some sort of missed opportunity, or somebody who's after your money. What is uh, Pisces moving towards, please? Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Um, when these two cards come out together, it is definitely, like, if you see, because his, his eye's yellow, you see that? His eye's yellow, and he's after the egg. So uh, it's like lurking, watching, waiting, wanting... like old energy um it's almost like ancient energy it's shown as water this is spirit and this is water but i heard retribution it's fucking i don't know if i like this reading oh and the vulture on the bottom could be a little bit of spillover from aquarius's reading aquarius had a yucky yucky reading they were dealing with some not nice people around. Um, golden egg. What is Pisces' current situation, please? I will pull more cards on these, by the way. I just want to get, like, an overview. What is Pisces' current situation? 33. Watch out for threes. Repeating number threes could be directing you at this time. Some sort of concern. Some sort of concern, but the light's sh sort of shining in on him there. Um, and he's got a peace lily. Again, with the Cornetto trilogy, um, he had a peace lily in that film that he just kind of watched. Um, and again, you had ice cream. So I feel like it's, I wouldn't normally, I wouldn't know, like I would never normally notice that plant on this card. I don't think I've ever noticed it before. And it's only because I'd watched that film that, I, that, I, that it's standing out to me. So a peace lily, peace, peace, peace. Some, some sort of concern, something about money or some sort of nest egg or offer, missed opportunity, a missed opportunity for peace, concern over a missed opportunity for peace. And they're giving me that the light will shine on you again from Wolf Alice, which was like really meaningful to that. I think it was the pink moon reading for Cappy, the light will shine on you. Does his light shine on you? Message of concern. And the light again. Something about the light I'm really like drawn to. One of four makes a five. So there's some sort of change. Some kind of concern about a change. Concern, concern. Okay, I'm keeping this over here because I didn't specifically ask about that. But I think this is more information on this. So a message of concern. Concern over a missed opportunity. Something to do with peace. 
I feel like you could be getting a message from someone who has some sort of concern. Or you're, there's two people, right, on these cards, a man and a woman. So there's correspondence between people where it's like I have, it's like somebody's informing somebody of some sort of concern that they have. Where is Pisces heading towards? What is change? Yeah, I told you change. One and five make, make change. Uh, nine, so something that's been a long process. You could be moving house. You could be buying a new car. Um, you could be, again, I'm really noticing the lights on the cards today. Um, some sort of change, change of job, change of career, change of mindset, change of finances. They just gave me career, so definitely could be career change for some of you. I, I know I already said that, but they gave it me again. Bad health. Now, it doesn't mean that somebody is in bad bad health and judgment. Ju somebody could have bad judgment. The uh, 1331 could be meaningful again with the threes. 331. Three, bad judgment. Could be some kind of health concern. Some could, could be, for example... Um, it could be like when somebody gets a little bit older um, and they they develop something like dementia or Alzheimer's or just generally old age where, you know, they get a little bit confused. And I'm saying this um, uh, sort of respectfully and sent like uh, I understand my, my Nana's um, getting quite old now. She's she's going a little bit, getting a little bit confused, you know, um, and it's like they're so vulnerable then to to scams you know especially because they don't understand technology as well you know um i mean not everybody i'm generalization generalizing you could have like grannies who are like brilliant at the internet you know but um you know as a generalization a lot of older people aren't very tech savvy they don't know what kind of things to look out for you know what are risks what are genuine so there could be something like where somebody's concerned about an older person's finances uh, whether they're able to um Sorry, they just gave me Britney as well. You know, like how in the news, um, you know, Britney's dad is controlling the finances and, you know, there's quite a big uh, stir up about that, you know, whether it's right or not, whether she's, you know, she should have more say over her, her own affairs. Uh, but yeah, it's like a, some kind of concern about somebody's ability to manage money or doesn't have to be that that's just the, what was coming through that's kind of the rabbit hole that went down so it's just for some of you take the kind of overview others of you that's a bit more detail um could be somebody's lost money you know when it's like you check someone's bank account and you're like where's that money gone the rider in reverse see this says that a message isn't coming uh the rider in the upright is a messenger it's somebody sorry okay you. It's like somebody who's self-empowered, confident, um, you know, having a good time, delivering some kind of fun message. So it could be a bad message or bad news about somebody's, it could be somebody's health. Like the rainbows are about healing to me. So a, t a turn in somebody's health. And I don't want to predict bad things. Somebody's not very happy on their own, perhaps with the nine of cups in reverse there. And another nine. Uh, 999, somebody might have to, I don't like these bad news readings, like I say Aquarius just had one and I'm like can I have happy readings please, but the thing is like sometimes, oh god I've, I need to do a reading, like a specific reading because somebody's definitely going through it, um, I, 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 I originally wanted to do readings for fun, I was like it's a hobby that I'm doing during lockdown, but then things come through and I'm like, do you know what? Maybe somebody needs to hear this. Maybe somebody, even if it's like somebody's getting a talking to, it could be that they really need it and it makes them have this kind of light bulb moment. Or it could be that, you know, I have to deliver difficult messages, but it can be, I, I mean, I've watched readings where it's like a difficult reading, and the, the readers have been like, I didn't want to put this up. But to me, it's like, I'm so thankful that they did because it's my situation. It's how I'm feeling and I needed to hear it. You know, I needed that confirmation from outside myself that, you know, sometimes it's just 
like it's helpful to hear it from another point of view sometimes and it can be helpful to see it in the cards as well because it makes you feel like you know what the universe has got me my back they do see what i'm going through so i am getting a few more difficult readings this week which i don't love but i'm sure it's what needs to be i'm sure it wasn't it's what needs to be said it's what needs to be heard so i'm just carrying on with it if it's not your reading just walk away and leave it for whoever's reading it is because someone needs to hear it right crocodile and change uh okay the dog card this is normally somebody who's very very loyal it's coming in with the ten of cups as well so this could be like a family member um somebody a friend a co-worker this is somebody who is like um a loyal friend uh committed you know there for there when you need them um it could be that you're like this for somebody else um it it's with it being the ten of cups as well the ten of hearts which i read as the ten of cups and with this being the nine of hearts in the reverse it's like um i feel like somebody needs somebody right now it's like they need that person it right now to come and offer this support because they can't make themselves happy here um so there's a need for this person like a need for like the stable reliable friend while they're going through some sort of change I need to pull a card on that crocodile. I don't like that energy. Um, now, I've been getting messages. I've just shuffled and I'm annoyed with myself for shuffling because there was something there that I wanted to look at. I can't remember what card it was. Maybe I'm not meant to say. No, oh, it's the coffin. I got through... I was getting some really heavy energy. Um, uh, again, I'm just going to say what I get. Um... I've been getting some really heavy energy on the off-camera readings that I've been doing. Really interesting readings, but very, very heavy. Um, and I tried to record a little bit um, what will be a week ago now when you get this reading because I'm reading for Saturday and it will have been the weekend before uh, from sort of like Thursday to Sunday. I was just had, there was just this heavy energy. Um, and I was getting this reading through of like someone that had just had enough. They were done, like absolutely it was like the straw that broke the cam camel's back was the way it was coming through. It was like, this is done, coffin closed, like death card, ten of swords, tower moment, world card. Like, it was like, done, 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 done. Like, no more. It was the way it was coming out. And it felt self-empowering. It felt like somebody was just like, you know, they put up with stuff because like the nine of wands was coming out. Like, they put up with stuff for such a long time. And yeah they were done they were like no more nope taking my power back that's the way it came out i don't know why i made that big big noise um and then with this dog card here it's it sometimes it means to me take the lead you know he's 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 not has got the collar on anymore he's free he's not wearing the collar and he's got the lead he's got the lead in his mouth he's he's his own boss he's his own leader is the way it's coming through so with this card and this card it just it's just saying to me it's like it's you know that energy thumbprint again of somebody who's like done with this and it could be because i've been getting the death card and the tower card uh that to me those two cards together showed up for me when uh there was a death in the family now the death card does not always mean death it means an an ending to something that is like coughing closed done so it can be um a, a friendship that you're like do you know what this bridge is i'm leaving and the bridge is burning you know it could be like i'm going i'm leaving this uh this workplace and i know there's no going back um so it it doesn't always mean death but to me the death and the tower together can sometimes mean mean death and like the coffin card came out as well um i don't know with bad health and coffin it could be it could be and i'm sorry if that's your situation and it's not going to be everybody's situation so just leave it I'm not predicting something that's coming up for you. I'm predicting something that happened earlier last week. So if this is your situation, you'll already know it's your situation. It's already happened. So don't panic. Um, somebody out there has gone through or a group of people have gone through some kind of big, big... It's It was coming through as closure um, of, of, oh my God, I've learned this lesson. It's like, I, you know, it's like when people are in a toxic re relationship and... Um, you know, they give and they give and they give and they think things are their fault. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, I'm not putting up with this anymore. And they leave. And it's like, that's it. As soon as they're out of that situation, it's like, I was getting this in Aquarius where it's like a breath of fresh air. 
and you know as soon as you're out of that toxic energy it, you just feel immediately better um it's it's kind of coming through as that of, of somebody who's like gone done no so it could be somebody's getting a dog <laughs> um and it's another nine one and eight make nine so difficult message there but i'm not going to shy away from that because again it's sometimes it's just helpful to hear it you know it's cathartic if anything and if it's not your reading and it's not going to be everybody's reading it's a general reading it's fine you know it's just that somebody else needs to hear that right now sorry they're giving me a message in a bottle by uh the police message in a bottle okay yeah look parting of the ways Parting of the ways in either business or romance. Somebody's out of a situation. They're out, they're gone, they're done. Door shut, bags packed. No more. And it's coming through with this sense of like, I can't take it anymore, like I'm done. Like absolutely, like that tower moment is coming through as like light bulb flash. Like I am done with this. It feels empowering, right? It feels good. Um position of authority it could be somebody's done with somebody who's in a position of authority it could be that somebody's stepping up uh interesting i've got the axe reversed here now this came out for aquarius forces working against you so it does feel like there's a tie-in between those two position of authority okay i'm gonna tell you what i'm getting uh, i'm gonna use it in the term of the the dog um, they're giving me Jay-Z and Lincoln Park. I've got 99 problems, but a bit changed. Well, and it's positions of authority, right? Um, is it positions of authority? 99 problems. January. Um, again, could be Aquarius. Aquarius is uh, January, February. Could be Capricorn. You've got Capricorn there. It could be somebody with a January birthday. Um, could be... Um, could be that something happened in Jan January. It could be that something is coming up for you next January. Could be January involved in some way, shape or thought. Thorn? Thorn. Thorn could be a thing. A dolphin. Financial game. Usually, usually coming from something you did in the past. So hopefully hard work you did in the past coming back up for you. Um, dolphins are all, also a symbol of Aphrodite Venus. Uh, you had Neptune as well, god of the ocean. So I'm tying that in with that um flowers happiness all right so there is good stuff coming in for you this is better than aquarius it feels like it, it feels like a spillover from aquarius's reading again eagle triumphal over troubles and obstacles uh aquarius had a reading where they were dealing with some kind of court situation where it was like somebody it felt like somebody was after somebody's money there was a uh, infighting with a in a family you know like contesting a will or something like that um and they were falling out with people around them but for them it was almost like as soon like as i was saying it's like as soon as they got out of that situation as soon as they moved away from those quite toxic people low vibrational people um you know people who were sucking their energy sucking them down uh, as soon as they got some distance, you know, like went and got their own house or, you know, just moved away, like took back their energy. They, they were, they were happy. They were like 10 of cups. So again, I feel like there's a spill over here where it's like going through a very similar thing where there's something difficult, something that you're processing, something that you're, um, hearing news about is difficult. It feels like you're done with some sort of situation, like closing the door, absolutely done, done with that, drawing a line under it, closure, whatever you needed, you've got it. And then you're able to look forward towards um, a change and happiness, uh, taking the lead of your own life. Very similar to what I was getting in those off camera readings. Um, okay, so tell me about the golden egg in reverse. This is a card about success. It's about being in the limelight. It's victory. Um, this person's doing like a victory parade after they've returned from some sort of battle, some sort of war, and people are cheering them on. Um, so there's success and reward and recognition here. Don't know why it's in the reverse. It's in the reverse probably because it comes with this painful stabbing in the back energy, this painful ending. It's like it's Caesar, right? Caesar, do you know what it's like? It's like somebody who's a victim of their own success. So Julius Caesar... Um, I talk about classics a lot in my readings. I, I studied classics. Um, sorry, my tummy's rumbling a bit there as well. Um, he, um, a lot of people, uh, you know, he was very, very popular with the people. People cheered him on. Um, and they tried to give him some sort of crown of like, uh, I think it was like laurel wreaths. Um, 
and uh, as a as a symbol of authority again with this throne right position of authority so the, the people kept on trying to give it trying to like crown him uh giving these symbols of authority but he um according to shakespeare this is and i think there's other people as well who collaborate this corroborate this story uh sort of like maybe like suetonius um where he yeah i think suetonius um he uh declined it he declined it like three times he kept trying to give him these symbols of authority and he declined them he didn't want to be a king he wanted to be uh, a senator he wanted to be a man you know he he wanted this distribution of power, but his popularity kind of uh, drew envy again with this like crocodile, um, and it actually caused people to literally stab him in the back. So um, yeah, this is like a victim of your own success. This is feeling like uh, somebody who's a victim of their own success. I'm just noticing that deer as well. Um, I spotted um, a card with a, a deer on this um, that said bring a gentle touch so it could be that somebody's dealt with something where they felt stab stabbed in the back and and your Pisces perhaps coming in and and kind of soothing them you know soothing words why is the rider in reverse yeah, someone's been suffering here I feel like it could be health I feel like it could be health with the nine of wands it's like I'm hearing holding on as well, which is something that I got from one of my other readings. Uh, somebody who could... I'm going to say it as it is, guys, okay? It's like somebody's holding on, even though they're in bad health, right? Not quite ready to face the end. So holding on, holding on, holding on, fighting a health battle. And it could be that there's a, some kind of closer look at their will or... Like a closer look at the details... What the heck? Like, there's this, like... Like, the Nine of Wands is, is learning to pick yourself up over and over again. When life knocks you down, you pick yourself up. So... Feels like somebody doesn't have the strength, perhaps, to... I mean, that person isn't going to be riding a horse anytime soon, right? Somebody doesn't have the strength to mm. see king of pentacles again right it feels like my off-camera readings are coming through on camera now king of pentacles this is a position this is somebody on the throne right somebody in a position of authority it can mean a boss a father a husband um it's somebody who has a, a fair amount of power they're very very skilled at what they do so they this tends to be it could be capricorn but it's typically taurus for me somebody who has um a lot of skills, a lot of knowledge, they're good at what they do, they've worked hard to get to where they are um, and they are actually um, normally kind of like benefactor type energy, uh, somebody who can help you out with like uh, practical matters. He's in the upright so it's, it's he's shown as a good character but I'm getting this kind of like perseverance or holding on energy. Um, it's something to do with money. It came out, literally this card came out in the centre of a reading I did off, off camera. It was like the main... The main thing. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. This card just flew off the table there. Information gathering. Looking at things. Looking at things more closely. Gathering information. Researching something. What? Watching people online. Checking your messages. King of Swords. Right. Who else is down here? And Temperance. So with temperance, this feels to me like something that's been a long time. Like nine of wands is like a situation that's been going on for a long, long time. Um, and with temperance as well, which means like patience, tempering yourself. It feels like somebody's going from page energy into king energy, which is progression. Pages are learning. The king of swords knows what he needs to know and he's uh, strategizing. Um, it could be, again, this kind of like father and son energy. Water sign, fire sign doesn't have to be the king of swords normally shows up when there's some kind of contracts or legalities or uh communication or technology it's typically acquiring energy for me doesn't have to be it looks like that could be like neptune maybe in the back there um could be like, like legalities or it's something to do with information long time like the information isn't coming, so somebody's been in this Nine of Wands energy where they've been collecting information 
and maybe they're ready to send a message of concern now but the king of swords normally holds back a little bit tell me about the king of swords tell me about the king of swords no tell me about the position of authority they're just giving me that jay-z song again um, i'm seeing uh concern and like nightmares, sleepless nights, uh, overthinking. But it didn't really come out. I pulled it out. So throne, position of authority. But yeah, 99 problems, right? 99 problems. Uh, trying to gain the upper hand here. It could be somebody's like trying to get into a position of authority. Or they have to defend their position of authority. Um, you know, against aggressors. This is it's the upper hand card. Or um, gaining the higher ground. And again, look, the Nine of Swords on the underlying. So a lot of concern over this. A lot of sleepless nights. A lot of how am I going to defend my position here? This came through for somebody as... Um, I think it could have been Sagittarius. As the, uh, the princess in the tower healing from something. Um, and the person outside who's like guarding the door. So it's like the castle's under siege. Uh, people are trying to get in to see the princess. Like, are they okay? Do you know, it's giving me another Roman story, which is, um, uh, it, it's not a princess. It's, it's um, there's one of my favourite characters from Roman myth is a queen called Tanaquil from the early, early history of Rome. So this is before they had the Senate, before they had emperors, like ancient history of Rome, they had kings. Um, one of the kings was, um, what was his name? I can just, I'm just hearing Tanaquil. Uh, no, it's failing me. Like the focus is on Tanaquil. Um, basically her husband was attacked, uh, by people who, uh, wanted kind of like vengeance. They felt like they had a right to the throne, but you know, uh, they um, they disguised themselves as like shepherds. They got into the throne room. They attacked her husband and um, the king, um, and he he died um, immediately. I think like quite quite quickly. Um, Tanaquil, being a very intelligent woman, a little bit scheming, kind of like the King of Swords, right? But for good reasons. She wanted to um, to make sure that there wasn't chaos in her kingdom in Rome. And she wanted to make sure the transition, the handing over of power went smoothly. So what Tanaquil did was she went out onto the ramparts where, you know, people, uh, the, the community outside the castle kind of knew that something had happened. They were being, demanding to be let in, de demanding to see the king, demanding to know what's going on. Tanaquil went up and said, um, everything's fine, don't worry. There has been an incident. The king has been attacked. Uh, we've caught the people who did it. They've been dealt with. Um, he's uh, he's recovering now. He's not doing very well, but he's recovering. Uh, we just need you to be peaceful and quiet um, so that he can kind of recover. Uh, and she said, um, in the meantime, my adoptive son, uh, Servius Tullius, uh, is going to kind of run things on his behalf. So she covered up the fact that he'd, he'd, he'd passed away. She covered up the fact that he died. Uh, and Servius Tullus uh, kind of acted as regent, um, you know, regent, even though he was kind of acquiring that power. Um, and uh, yeah, it, basically the transition of power was smooth uh, because of this regency period, a uh, false regency period, where Servius kind of started to run things and took power and knew what he was doing. He was a good good king according to Livy and um, yeah it was it, it, Tanaquil was very smart in that kind of way um, where ha had she gone the king's dead there would have been vying for power they would have been like people being competitive so it's giving me that it's kind of like a um, there could be something in that for somebody right I'm, I'm just telling you the story but there could be something going on where it's like <sighs> Again, judic judication's there as well. It's like, are they in bad health? Can they, are they going to recover? Doesn't, doesn't look great. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, you know, what's going, what is the real situation here? You know, are people, and this can be for a number of re reasons as well. Like my mum's the sort, she's very poorly. She's, not, she's the sort that she won't really tell me if she's suffering. She won't really tell me how poorly she is. Um, she hides things from me because she thinks she's sparing my feelings, right? She doesn't want me to worry. She doesn't want me to worry. Um, but I'm I, I'm that sword's energy. I like to know things so I can take action on it. I'm like, just give me the information. I'll deal with it, right? Um, not in a heartless way, but I, 
as a, an air sign with a huge amount of Libra and, and air in my chart, I, I operate from a more like logic based um, point, you know, where somebody who's a water sign will act from an emotional point. My mum's a water sign, so she makes decisions based on her emotions or trying to protect other people's emotions. I'm more facts and figures and tell me how it is. So, um, yeah, it could be something like that. You know, if you're in a, a fire sign, if you one's energy, you take action, you do uh, think, think and feel later and do it as, it, you know, as the impulse comes. Um, yeah, pentacles energy is like, I'm, I'm just going to go and do something. I'm going to do something practical <laughs> um, in this situation. What's the crocodile doing here? Can, uh, chariot energy, again with this success. Uh, these cards are very similar. Uh, it talks about taking action, movement, uh, seizing power, taking the reins of your own life, um, moving forward uh, very, very quickly normally. But these um, on this card, these kind of sphinx look like uh, blocks, you know, wheel blocks. So it looks like there's this kind of stagnancy. Um, tell me about the chariot. Why is the chariot here? It could be a Cancerian involved. Why is the chariot here with the crocodile? Uh, yeah, I was getting a few energy from it. There's, it's coming in with winning at all costs. The five of swords, it's conflict, uh, fighting conflict arguments, uh, the need to win, the need to get the upper hand, the need to win at all costs, the need to, uh, it's like, I don't care what I have to do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get that success. I'm going to get that victory. Uh, it could be something to do with work. Uh, Three of Pentacles is like you're meant to work together with others, but this there's only one person on this card. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. We've got a match here, and I've put them down directly side by side. The Queen, and, King, and Queen of Swords. Now, um, they. It could be two people who are a vibrational match. So again, people who operate on this kind of like logic based um, uh, base, um, strategists, um, great communication skills. Uh, very, the Queen of Swords has very strong boundaries. It could be the same person, right? Not speaking, speaking, not speaking, taking action. Um, like knowing when it's time to take action and when it's time to hold back. Uh, it could be counterparts. It can sometimes mean a divorced couple, but I'm not seeing anything else here with that. Uh, it can be people who are dealing with contracts or legalities or technology. Um, it's coming in with that, the Three of Swords in reverse. So the Three of Swords is heartbreak. In the reverse, it's like with the Queen of Swords, I'd say that's drawing boundaries, protecting from heartbreak, healing from heartbreak, mm -hmm. um, putting, having strong boundaries up after being heartbroken. Uh, knowing your worth after being taken for granted in the past, perhaps in some kind of work situation. <sighs> I, I, tell me about the dog. Yeah, focusing on work here. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, just because like the dog's coming is like very, very loyal, hardworking, you know, faithful. Um, it's kind of earth sign energy as, as well with taking the lead which is a message that Capricorn keeps on getting um and then this eight of pentacles is like um like nose to the grindstone focusing on your work how I was just saying that you're um depending on what you've got in your chart you know if you may find that you have a lot of earth in your chart and you operate from a I'm going to do things based an example would be I as I say I've the energy was really like big and dramatic over the weekend to the point where it was like I was seeing that like whirlpool of like fire off the Gulf of Mexico and I was like that I predicted that and that is quite intense <laughs> you know um, and things going on in Canada which again came out in one of my readings um, unbeknownst to me until I saw it on the news uh, so he kept on getting like readings and then seeing it in the news and it being like big <laughs> and scary so I was so overwhelmed um, and I had to kind of not do readings for a couple days I really get out of that energy um, and get out of my own head uh, so today I just sat on the floor all morning building uh, wardrobe doors <laughs> building drawers and wardrobe doors and putting like uh, I built some wardrobes weeks back and never never put the doors on them never put the drawers in uh, I was just using them as like pigeonholes uh, and today I was like I want to get I want to get I want to get that, those boxes of doors out of the way. I want to get the drawers on. I'm going to do it. And just sitting down and doing something with my hands, like carpentry almost, like doing something practical, building something, 
um, using a skill, uh, being in that earth sign energy got me out of my head, got me out of my emotions. And it was what I needed. It was what I needed to like ground myself at the time. So this is, feels like that. It's like get grounded, do the work, like do something practical and physical and beneficial. Uh, again, like if that, I had a Cappy reading or it might have been the Cappy full moon reading where it was like, um, it was like, get out of your head and do something that's going to make a difference. So it's like, don't wash the pots because there'll just be more pots to wash. You know, do something that's going to like, like paint a wall, something that's like, once it's done, it's done. Um, so yeah, it feels like a similar energy. Work, working hard, mastering a skill. Um, all right, are we done? Let's have a look at this happiness. Tell me about happiness for Pisces. No, not coming out yet. Which way, please? Yeah, I think it's going in the reverse. Judgment in reverse. Um, excuse me, tell me I'm late. Uh, reassessing what makes you happy. Uh, knowing that sometimes you have to let things uh, let things go. Um, that not everything can be revived. Um, you know, if something's meant to end, it's it's going to end. Uh, and it's going to end because it's making way for happiness. So uh, the judgment card in the upright is rebirth. It's, it's uh, you know, the, it's, it's normally people coming up out of the coffins. This is Archangel Gabriel uh, calling people up to rise. Uh, this is like... Um, it's Sorry, they're giving me something. I'm not quite getting it. Lay, laying things to rest this is laying things to to rest letting things rest and i think i picked up on something like that before it's like a painful ending like closure letting things go then happiness comes in so laying things to rest not trying to flog a dead horse is that what they were giving me or flog a dead dog not trying to flog a dead they give it they're giving me flog a dead dog but i think it's flog a dead horse not trying to flog a dead horse you know, letting things rest that need to rest, um, whatever that is. Um, and that's what's going to lead you to happiness. Not this win at all costs energy. Um, that is not going to lead you to happiness. That's just going to leave. I'm hearing sourness. That's going to lead you to sourness. So let, let sleeping dogs lie. That's the other one. Let sleeping, let sleeping dogs lie. So whatever it is, there you go. That's your reading Pisces. <laughs> Oh my god, there it is. Look, bring a gentle touch. I told you I'd seen it. Oh, that little dare, like, are you okay? Do you need a bit of help, sir? Are you all right? Coming in to check on you. Uh, 18 could be a significant number for you. They're giving me Salvatore again. Salvatore. Scream. Oh, I don't think I ever read that card to you. Eagle, triumph over troubles and obstacles. Uh, goldfish, increasing material wealth or spiritual growth. So yeah, go into good places, but you have to let sleeping dogs lie. Um, advice for those who are resonating with this reading, please. Thank you. I've got two cards. The dolphin's back and frog spirit. Clear out the clutter. Clear out the clutter. This and that are true. Time to let go. Oh my God. Look, time to let go. Groundhog spirit. Don't keep flogging that dead horse. Don't keep going over and over something. It, you know, no winning at all costs. Let it go. Let it go. Let it flow. Uh, 31, 28 and 20 could be significant numbers for you. Um, Clear out the clutter is showing me as emotional clutter at the moment. Again, I did that. I think it was the Capricorn full moon reading, the strawberry moon reading that had a frog in it. Had this whole thing about an emperor. Um, really emotional reading for me, that one. And then dolphin spirit, this and that are true. Uh, now you have got this dolphin here. Financial uh, gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. The dolphins talk to me about... Um, about love because I associate them with the goddess Aphrodite Venus. Uh, I also, again, Neptune energy. Uh, Aphrodite was born from the ocean, um, so that could be significant for you. Um, they also, the very happy animals. They they ride the waves, right? They 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 jump in and out of the waves. So it's like it's okay to the waves um, sort of visually for me sort of uh, as a metaphor talk to me about uh, the things that hit you when life hits you right uh, they can batter you you can get tossed around by the waves um, or you can use them to surf or you can use them as um, a 
like a child jumping over the waves. So the waves are going to roll in. It's up to you how you uh, approach them and, and use them. You know, there's something to do with mindset there. You know, the dolphins play in the waves. Um, oh, something else I was getting there as well. What is it? This and that are true. Um, when I was looking at this dog and I didn't say it, and I kind of wish I did, um, and I was talking about when sl let sleeping dogs lie, um, they gave me a bit of a pun on the word lie. So let people lie, let people lie. Like literally like don't, not telling the truth. Um, so if it's like you don't have to pull people up on a lie, you can let them lie um, because it could be true to them. It's their truth. It's not up to you to, to, to tell somebody else what their truth is. It's okay for two different people to have a different version of events. Um, something with that with the dolphin spirit okay so um again something with perception oh, my knees are hurting i'm gonna sit on my butt <laughs> i'm gonna sit on my butt while i do this okay frog spirit oh, shuffling, closer. <laughs> shuffling closer to the camera i'm interested to see what cappy gets now because you've got a bit fair bit of cappy in this reading it's funny how the readings flow into each other so uh because capricorn's got this weird tradition now with their readings where i have to do their readings on thursday um, I'm, I'm doing a, your reading and Aquarius's reading on Tuesday, <laughs> so I'm actually gonna kind of I'm kind of doing things in the wrong order. So it's funny though because I always feel like there's this flow between readings where you know the energy flows into the next reading a little bit because people are on the cusp, right? Some people are on like uh, the cusp of Aquarius Pisces. Um, so yeah, there's like this flow, um, and it's just funny because I feel like. Aquarius flowed into you <laughs> and now you're flowing into Capricorn which is like the reading I'm going to do next even though they're before Aquarius in the uh in the zodiac so let's have a look um clear out the clutter frog spirit knows that while all the other frogs are croaking away this is a time for you to simplify and declutter your life so that you can feel content on your own lily pad pad I'm quite pleased with myself actually for doing the wardrobes because I did move a few things around and sort out some clutter today and i feel better for it so there's a lesson there right i feel like i'm one step ahead now <laughs> um even when life isn't creating a total cacophony it's funny that it says cacophony and you have that cacatore word at the beginning of the reading Ca like cac i think is like poo as well um even when life isn't creating a total cacophony, we can become drawn to the excitement of lots of noise. Then, the next thing we know, our schedules and homes are cluttered with commitments we regret making and objects taking up valuable space. Was it you or Aquarius? I remember talking about, it's like when you have some sort of accident, like a flood or a fire in your house and, you know, it you have to throw a load of stuff out but then it's like oh i didn't realize i had this much space it's always like when something bad happens and it turns out to be a positive in the long run uh like stuff you wouldn't have got rid of otherwise but then actually you're kind of relieved that it's gone is it's how it's coming out um even relationships need decluttering as as they often become messy frog spirit appears to tell you to clean house prioritize what you need and get rid of or give away the rest so you can have some space in your day and in your head you don't need the old stuff and its stories shouting at you about the past. Along with physical clutter, friendships are sometimes kept long past their expiration date, weighing you down with unnecessary baggage. Now is the time to let go. Whatever you need will appear when you need it, so release your grip on all that clutter that is making you feel anxious and burdened. Frog Spirit wants you to reclaim your space unencumbered by shoulds, oughts and could have beens. Let go and jump. You are free from all that old stuff, whether that's emotional junk, uh, physical junk, relationships, whatever it is, like all of the above, like clean house, let go of the baggage. Because that's what that's saying, right? That's what that's saying. Like, don't try and keep resuscitating like old stuff that doesn't work for you anymore. Uh, 20. Dolphin spirit. I love the dolphins. It's funny as well because I really like the otters and they were coming out for me a lot last week. And I watched uh, a water baby spirit tarot reading. 
um, and I was watching like all her different signs and she was going through and she she was like pulling something for each sign and she she got to Libra and it was the the otters and I was like oh the otters <laughs> I was excited and I remember she did some other ones what was the other ones Oh, I can't remember, but I was like, oh, it's so funny. She's getting the dog for Capricorn. She has, she kept on getting like the same ones as me. And I was like, that's so funny. I can't remember what she got for Pisces. I don't know if I watched that far. I need to go back and finish watching that video. Um, Dolphin Spirit, like her earthly manifestation. It's just so funny. I keep like across readings, like people keep getting the same cards. Like it's, it's so funny. Right. Dolphin spirit, like her earthly manifestation, is a reminder of duality. As the dolphin is both mammal and sea creature, so too is dolphin spirit both this and that. Two truths coexist, the story you tell and, and another as well. The duality of life is present when we are suffering, for there is a blessing too in the helpers that appear. Again, like I said, the helpers that appear. Um, within clouds are silver linings. When we later reflect on what happened, I was just saying that, um, we can see a situation was both this and that, a choice that led both to both joy and sorrow. No relationship is either all good or all bad, and people have qualities of both light and shadow. Again, kept on getting that in the Cappy reading too. And uh, I think the Scorpio, I think, got it really strongly this week. It's coming through in my off-camera readings. Um, focus on the positive, for light exists alongside the darkness. Dolphin Spirit calls to you to come up from below and enjoy a weightless moment in the sun as you dive in and out of this and that accepting and even enjoying the duality of life why not join dolphin spirit in acknowledging and affirming the blessings present in this moment in all areas of your life there are aspects of both this and that today you can celebrate this fact and recognize the complexity and the beauty of the fabric of the universe you are in you are at the right place at the right time now when your past self is still present as you move towards the new self you are becoming the change right um aspects of both selves are present so even if you want to say to goodbye to what was you are required to find solace in this between time today is not a day to choose one over the other either but to accept things as they are without judgment or resistance without judgment judgment card in reverse even in matters of, and without resistance too, right? Uh, stop worrying. Um, even in matters of the heart, duality is present. Your next action will be obvious when you drop your bias and see things as a whole. So don't judge situations too harshly either. There's definitely this kind of like stuck in your head energy up here. So yeah, okay. I hope it was helpful to you. I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, do check out the description box down below where you'll find some advice songs. And uh, yeah, there's, there's, uh, there'll be songs like what you need to hear right now and uh, something you can take as advice. But again, use your own intuition to know what's for you and what's for somebody else. Again, it's a general reading, not a personal reading. So uh, leave me a like if you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share with friends if you think they need to hear it. And uh, yeah, leave me a comment and if anything particularly resonated. And those of you who want to come in as stealth watchers and fly under the radar, I, I appreciate those watch hours ticking up. That's really, really helpful to me as well. Gonna leave it there. Do take care and I will see you soon, Pisces. Bye-bye. <laughs>